You see, brothers and sisters, there's not a single good reason for any worker, especially any union member, to vote against Barack Obama. And there's only one really, really bad reason to vote against Barack Obama. And that's because he's not white. And I want to talk about that issue. I want to turn back the clock just a little bit uh, to a moment during the presidential elections where you were standing before some fellow steel workers mm -hmm. and you were talking about race, their mm -hmm. livelihoods, yeah. and the then candidacy of Barack Obama. Why did you feel it was so important to make that speech? Well, there was just there was something missing in the campaign. Local union officers that were saying, "Yeah, yeah, we're we're voting for him," but they weren't out stumping the way that they they normally was. And then I ran into a woman that I'd known forever, and she said, uh, I, "I've never voted for Barack Obama." And I said, "Well, why is that?" And she gets real quiet, and she said, "Well, I, I can't vote for him because he's black." And it startled me to know that someone that I'd known like that thought that way. Because we know better than anyone else how racism is used to divide working people. We've seen how companies set workers against worker. They throw white workers a few crumbs. They discriminate against black workers or Latino workers, and we all, we all end up losing. So I thought that if we started talking about it, and we started a, a conversation that we could get past it because we couldn't allow anything to stop us from getting what I consider to be the best friend and the best president working people were ever going to get. I mean, it, it doesn't get any better than him. There's only one candidate on the ballot this fall who's on that side, only one candidate who's going to stand up for their families, only one candidate who has earned their vote, and that candidate is Barack Obama. And come November, he's going to be the president of the United States. And I knew, I knew that we'd done our job when we could get that kind of a turnout and get everybody uh, on the same page for, this, for the good of everyone. Which is why, you know, we are talking to you today and, and why the Applied Resource Center put forth this compact for racial justice so that we can have full equity, inclusion, and dignity. Now, I know that organized labor shares many of these principles. Well, first of all, I urge everybody, and I mean everybody, uh, to get a copy of it. It is a great, great document, and now we need to give it uh, real meaning and make it come to life. Because uh, I've heard some of the same things you have, Tammy, when people say, wow, you have a, an African-American president now. That's, what else do you want? Actually, we don't want the unemployment rate for black folks to be twice what it is for white folks. Actually, we don't want there to be that big of a discrepancy with the amount of wages that, that black folk get paid uh, or their educational opportunities. We still have a lot of work to do to address these things and strike a real blow against what I consider to be the most evil system on the face of the earth, and that's racial discrimination. This has been a great conversation, and, and I really appreciate that the afl supports the Compact for Racial Justice and that we're working in partnership together. Thanks for having me on. We look forward to working with you, and we look forward to having a better America in uh, the next four and eight years.